Champion, which means come on, champion. He's their man, although he's from Mexico. They've adopted Ramirez here in France. Whitaker still fighting a very smart, heady fight. Going side to side, but he did not get too close when he switches like that. It wasn't a hard shot, but he took one flusher on the face. He tried to get out of there. But Ramirez continues to come at him relentlessly. Going to the body. Whitaker on his bicycle with a jab again in evidence. I don't know if we can get the angle of these pads on the floor. They're actually on an angle, like corner pads. And they slide up. And if he gets his foot caught in there, he's going to slip and fall down with it. I agree with it very easily. It's very dangerous. There is a good chopping left by Ramirez. About 20 seconds to go in this round. Whitaker banging with him a little bit, going to the body, and then wisely tries to get away before that clinch. So the pattern continues between these two here as the fourth round comes to an end. <laughs> round five in Paris, Don Chevrier and Angelo Dundee with you. Fidel Whitaker getting it done against the champion, WBC style, the World Lightweight title, held by Jose Luis Ramirez. But it is the middle to later rounds where we would expect Ramirez to get around to his kind of fight. If Fidel can show his speed and final enough points up and then stay out of trouble, he could be in good shape. But a good start for him at this early juncture. Pernell got hit a real good shot in that last round. If it had been a little lower, it might have done some damage. Got to be very careful when he's moving around on him like that. Ramirez, a very tough man to hurt, a very tough man to take down. That was partially blocked. That looping left by Ramirez. Rosario knocked him down in succeeding rounds in a great battle in their rematch, but nobody else was able to do that. This is what you call maturity fighting a young man, because really, the 15 fights is real tough to go against a fella with the amount of experience that Ramirez had. Well, his entire working life has been as a professional boxer. And again, the great hand through the finishes, some great throw blows there. I got to admire Pernell Whitaker, because he wants it real badly, and the way he's throwing those shots is something else. And I, I still remember a guy by the name of Leon Spence had seven fights, and he beat, beat some youngster like a new name, Muhammad Ali. You do remember that? I do, slightly. Well, he is making Ramirez look a little awkward now. He's got to be a little uncomfortable. We'd like to warn our local stations. We'll be taking a station break immediately following the conclusion of this round. We're now getting glancing shots as he backed out of there. This is the fifth round scheduled for 12. Now what a girl has crossed the ocean to become the latest Olympian from the 84 team to win a world professional championship. And the man he has chosen is a tough customer, Jose Luis Ramirez from Mexico, fighting lately out of France as sort of an adopted native son. Whitaker favored coming in, and much of the strength given to him was feeling that he would do well in the early rounds that he had. Definitely getting a real good warning here for pushing them down, but what the heck, you got to do everything you can to get that win. That's what Fernando Whitaker's doing. It is getting late in round five. Whitaker continues to impress. Constantly on his bicycle, but scoring as he goes. We'll return with more on ABC's Wide World of Sports after this word from our local station. Oh, there's that hand you talked about getting rid of the hand. Those pads are so dangerous, it's not even funny. And you know what? They want to make sure they got the advertising in. They got them nailed down. You can't move it. Well, it may be good for business, but it's not too smart in terms of uh, a fighter's welfare. Especially when it moves as well and as frequently as Whitaker does. Now, Ramon Felix, in the corner at that time, he was telling him, downstairs, downstairs, abajo, abajo. And he told him, eagerly. He said, hit him in the belly, hit him in the kidney. Ramirez well, having trouble catching up to hit him at all. Ramirez is doing something now, he's jabbing. This is a good idea so he can break up Whitaker's jab. That's why he's jabbing right now, to break up the rhythm of Whitaker. 
Uh, again, he doesn't want to be in here doing this kind of thing, but he's coming out on the long end of it. Got away with it good if he did. Well, Whitaker can't do that. He's got to fight. The type of fight he's fighting, just move, stick him, keep him turning. There's no sense in trading punches. Because this man could take all you can give him in the car. I think he proved that with Rosario because he really got bumped a couple times, came back and knocked out Rosario. I saw that fight in Puerto Rico. Yes. Second of their two great fights. Well, he has fought Camacho, goes to Edwards, he has fought so many experienced people. Here's Whitaker with just 15 bouts, dancing rings around him right now. It's an amazing story I'm told here tonight. Well, you got to remember, he beat Roger Mayweather, and that was a heck of a win for him, perhaps, because there's no better banger than Mayweather. It is quite a division, this lightweight division. And on the train, a couple of great ex-champions are about to go out of the game in May, Camacho and Mancini. You've got Chavez, and you've got Craig Haugen, the IBF champion. You've got the man he beat, Vinny Panzienza, and these two. Now, while Whitaker is only 24 in superb shape, is there a chance he could tire here and not be able to stay in this end? Oh, he definitely could tire because what Ramirez is doing is banging him downstairs, keeping him busy, making him do things he don't want to do. And that's what we figured was going to happen with down the stretch with this fight. Good solid oh. shot with a right hand to lead with it by Jose Luis Ramirez, who tries desperately to wear down the speedy Pernell Whitaker. Stay with it. They are underway here in Paris again. That last round was this time on the short side by 15 seconds, but it was certainly a better round for Ramirez. Well, definitely a much better round for Ramirez. He's starting to hurt him downstairs, and Whitaker's uh, mouth is starting to bleed. Now, a funny thing happened in the corner. Joey Farriola, the trainer, said, tie him up in close. And you know what happened? Pernell said, I can't, I can't. That's the strength of Ramirez. Yes, it is. And he is coming on more and more now as the seventh round is underway. Whitaker has never stopped an opponent as a pro from the seventh round on. I don't know what happened in the referee's corner over there in Luchacom, but there's water there. A lot of it. And if... Uh, See in the background there, just pass. Yeah, Purnell goes there, he's going to slip on it. Not to mention those pads full of advertising that he has stumbled on on a couple of occasions. Strange thing, Guzman warned Purnell for turning his back on uh, Ramirez. That's a no-no. He shouldn't do that because he got hit a real good shot in the kidney. Now that left hand of Whitaker's uh, became a problem late in his training. Is it a problem now? He seems to be holding back with the left hand. Well, I watched him, and I noticed that in the gymnasium, he hit one of his sparring partners on top of the head, and he sort of shook it off. Now, maybe he did hurt his hand in the gymnasium. Well, he broke his right hand in 86, and it has been fine ever since it mended. But he certainly is holding back with the left more in this round, as it's almost exclusively the right jab that we're seeing from Purnell. Well, he's definitely not using his left hand at all. He got him through that time. Oh, a good shot at that. I spoke too soon. <laughs> he takes one with the left hand from Ramirez. Oh, Ramirez is definitely getting to Purnell. Purnell is definitely slowing down. The gas tank is getting emptied out a little bit. Uh, and Ramirez can go this kind of style any time. You notice he slipped in the water that time, Ramirez. Over in that neutral corner. Here. That's what it is. They got to wipe it up, but nobody's paying no attention to it. Whitaker favored here against the champion because of his speed, but also because of the 12-round distance, I suspect. If this were a 15-round bout, it might be a different story. You might have to look to Ramirez the way he grinds the opponent down. Well, I think I think 12 rounds is championship rounds. I mean, I, you're a champion whether it's 12 or 15. Whitaker goes to the body effectively as Ramirez winces in pain from that body shot, both in superb condition, but a couple of heavy bangers in here. And there is the bell. We'll stay with you here between rounds seven and eight. Beautiful, baby. Beautiful. Relax now, Pete. Just take a deep breath and relax. Hey, baby, now, Pete. Good job. 
Okay, hey, give me a mouth Open it up. Open it up. I just want to get this out of there. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. It's all right, no problem. I'm all right. All right, just let me get in there. All right, all right. Give him a little bit. I got it. Give him some more stuff. I know, but how do you use it? How do you use it, baby? How do you use it? Too defensive now. Okay, now listen to me on one thing. When you make this guy miss, he's stumbling, 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 and you're moving out. You. And you're moving out, and you're not doing that. I thought you told me this move. All right, now this round, I want you when you move out and make a miss, jump back in and nail. Yes, We're two trick pose combinations. Got huh? You got it. Well, you, got you got it, baby, it. baby. I've seen you throw that. Baby. Come on, bang that belly. Come on. Come on, baby. Hey. All right. Come on, baby. Got those combinations. Some pretty confident words coming out of Whitaker's corner there with Joey Ferriello, Lou Duva, and Ace Morata, who's the cut man, hasn't had much to do in that regard. Well, I'll tell you, they're doing a real good job trying to pump up Whitaker because...